guys, it's your girl Bree, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this fun, festive 4th of July look. It's honestly one of my favorite holidays just because you get to spend it with friends and family and amazing food and fireworks, obviously, because everything is so much better with fireworks. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how I created this look, then please keep on watching. I am gonna sweep a light color. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, and then I'm going to use burnt orange right here and just put it in my crease to give it a light flush of color. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M513 brush to Put that color in my crease and just buff it out. And then tilt your head back and then put it right in the crease. I wonder if you guys have any fun 4th of July plans. I mean, they just announced, or they announced that with the pandemic that they're not going to be opening the beaches, which I think is a good idea because that just sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. Sister and I wanted to go to the beach in San Fran with some friends but now I don't even know if they're gonna be open I'm just using a fluffy brush just to make sure everything is even I think it was a good call and then they also announced that restaurants are gonna be closing again I mean I thought that that was a big mistake anyways originally I was like dude like no because I work at a restaurant and I just thought that that was way too soon I'm like dude all of a sudden they said that they were gonna ease into phases or whatever and then they start freaking opening up things like the next week that makes no sense <laughs> But as I was saying, now that was our plan was to go to the beach and now I don't even know what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take the James Charles palette. I'm gonna go in with this champagne color right here. It's, I'm gonna use the shade ring light just to put it all over my lid. Now I'm actually going to go back in with the transition color just to deepen it up a little bit because I feel like it disappeared. <music> On a good note, I did get my nails done. You want to see? I got them done. Oh my god, it was so amazing. To massage say chair, she was giving me a massage. I was seriously in heaven. And I didn't want to freaking leave. Moving on, we're going to go with the star of the show, which is this gel liner in the shade vitamin C. Looks like the color of the sea, and it is beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to take this on an angled brush where this eye right here, the lash line, if it were to continue, that's where I usually make my mark. Hella thick wing. She's hella thick today. <laughs> That's okay. Going back in with that James Charles palette, James Times Morphe. I'm gonna use this beautiful blue shade, which is pretty much the same one, just to set the gel liner. And it'll make it a little bit more vibrant and make it last throughout the night. Stamping. Basically, my camera died and it turned off, but I finished my other wing. So now I have both wings on. Now what I'm about to do is just tight line it with a black shade just because I do want to put lashes on and if I just put lashes on you're going to be able to see the difference between the lashes and the actual blue gel liner. And I'm going to use angled brush, just any angled brush. With the shade Spooky in the James Charles palette I'm just going to use that black because it's a really jet black. On a good note, I'm going to be moving back to LA. I just got news today. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get back to my regular, well, somewhat of a regular, my regular life before quarantine happened. I'm gonna be close to my friends again. I miss them so much. I don't have any friends out here. The only person I have is my sister, so 
and she's at work all day so then I'm all by myself and I don't have anybody so I'm pretty excited that I'm gonna be moving I think next week actually yeah after this fourth of after the weekend this fourth of July weekend that I'm just been with my sister I'm gonna head back to LA so I'm like a stoked <laughs> Now I am prepped for lashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop some on and I will be right back. So I did pop on some lashes, Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. I am going to take that same shade, the burnt orange, this one, and just smoke out my lower lash line using a pencil brush on a Morphe E18 brush. I was happy here. Oh, grateful for my sister. I love her. She's always going to have a place to stay. Shout out to you, Bernie. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Okay, so moving on to skin. My girl on here is looking a little ghetto, so I just had to wipe her down. <laughs> is anybody else's stuff kind of messy? <sighs> on a grody sometimes? Or am I just the only one? <laughs> I'm gonna be mixing my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, but also I wanna use my Estee Lauder Double Wear. So this one, this one, these two. The L'Oreal in the shade 206 Buff Beige, and then the Estee Lauder one in Bone A39. Okay. I like to be a little bit darker than my skin tone. Just a little bit, because I like it like that. I'd rather be a little bit too tan, then a little bit too pale. Now I'm gonna be going in with concealer. I'm gonna be using the Morphe C165. Nice and full coverage. The protests have slowed down a little bit. There's still some going on, but not as many. But there's been major progress made. I mean, they still haven't arrested certain police officers, which is ridiculous, for Breonna Taylor's situation, which is pretty messed up. I mean, there's still a long way to go. The world is so crazy right now with our pandemic, all these crazy things happening with police officers killing people. It's just freaking crazy. Trying to stay positive, trying to stay busy. People are really going through it. Just be kind to everybody. How about that? I think everybody should be really nice to each other. Be kind because everybody's obviously going through something. Just like it's a lot. So I would just recommend try and stay positive, try and hang out with your loved ones, and that's the best you can do. Go in with the literally the shade just to set my face. This is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy Morphe M438. But yeah, I hope everybody is staying safe out there. And trying to stay sane. I had a good weekend with my friend, my girlfriend. Got a little lit, had some drink. We went out. I'm kind of glad we went out because now everything's gonna be closing. That was like the only time I've been out since certain things <laughs> opened up, but it is what it is. So I got a little bit of a fix, but is it gonna be enough to hold me up for another three months? I don't know about that. Moving on to bronzer. I'm gonna be using this NYX matte bronzer. This is a new bronzer I got in the shade medium. I'm gonna put this on a Morphe M530. Oh, I got my first request from, I think she's a subscriber. She could be somebody who's just watching my channel, but I'm pretty sure she's a subscriber. Cece, I believe her name is. She's the first one to ever comment on one of my videos and actually request something. So I was so stoked. She made my freaking day. I was so happy after that. She basically wants me to do a smoky eye, like a daytime one, but then also one that you can bump up into a night look. I commented and I had told her that I had a few videos lined up because I do I have this one, another one. Once I complete those ones, I will definitely do that. So if you guys have any excited now because it's something that I haven't done before. That was really cool. So thank you, Cece.
So I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. I'm going to use some Cody Airspun just to clean up the edges. No, no, no. Brie just has those eyes where I just can't bake underneath and I really don't want to. So it is all good. <laughs> And I'm just going to go the sides of my nose. Much more snatched. Holy crap. I'll do a little bit down the center of the nose. All right, for blush, I'm not going to go that ham on blush. I saw my last video and it's like, damn, Brie, what the freaking blush, bro? In my defense it was my first time using this palette right here okay oh yeah i'm gonna be using this elf one that i have right here little palette these two. Oh, that is perfect the good thing about blush is that it's the first thing to go i was just waiting for that video for my blush to go away and it just didn't <laughs> oh like what the f dude i put so much on I'll use the James Charles palette, this one right here. Shade face. Shade face. Okay. On a Morphe M510. And now I'm going to do some NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. What is a 4th of July look without a red lippy? So today, I'm gonna be using Makeup Forever. This is in the shade Artist. <laughs> Artist, that's me, that's me. Just kidding. It's like a deep, deep red. I actually really like this formula. Pretty. That formula is really nice, by the way. If you want to get a Makeup Forever red, that one definitely dope. I'm going to take that same color that I used from earlier, the ring light shade, and just do a little inner corner highlight. Just going to take any pencil brush and put her right in. <laughs> put her right on my eye. <laughs> That's kind of, yeah. Anyways, okay. So I spritzed her. Yeah, I like that way better. Cute. Oh yeah, and I also forgot I got these little jewels, or I've had these little jewels, so I'm just going to give it a little bit something extra and apply like two little stars on the sides of my eye just because I think it's festive and I think it's cute. These are from Lunatics. These are their cosmic crystals. Oh, those are super cute. Love it. Oh my god, those are super freaking cute. Look at that. All right, guys, and this is the finished makeup look. Do we like her? Do we love her? Did I do 4th of July justice? Am I festive enough? Do I look like 4th of July? <laughs> if I do, please leave me a like, a comment, or subscribe, which would be the best thing ever, so then you can see me again. And I hope you guys have an amazing, fun, safe, mostly safe, wear your masks, no big groups, and I hope you guys have an awesome 4th of July. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Red lipstick on my finger. <laughs> Slipping. Is that being a little biatch? The F is on my lashes. Swipe her down a little bit because she's looking a little ghetto. Okay, I guess I don't have a mirror. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god, I can feel my back is literally sweating. Like it's like dripping down. <laughs> I know that's how it grows, but somebody just fan me <laughs> while I do this video. She's already yawning. I just got started, bruh. Wake the hell up, bruh. I would say curly hair girl problems. Ooh, Jesus. I'm so over wearing a bra. <laughs>
What's in my hair, bro? Fix your hair, ho. Oh, there's a hair in here. It's my own hair, but still, it's gross.